Hey guys, Dave Nier right here, and today I got a movie review for you, specifically a movie review for a very un uh, relatively unknown and, in my opinion, very underrated and overlooked movie, Reign of Fire. Now, this film stars Christian Bale and Matthew McConaughey. Now, this movie was released in 2002, and basically, or let's go ahead and get to the plot here, um, or it starts out... Well, actually, you know, I'm not going to spoil the opening scene to the movie. Basically, it's a post-apocalyptic film. It's uh, it's set in about 2030, and basically what it is, is dragons, like, people, you know, obviously had no idea that they exi uh, existed. They just fly out of the earth and, or, uh, fly out from deep in the earth, and they take over the world, and just, like, the... All the governments of the world, they just couldn't handle the millions of dragons that were flying around, and yeah, so they got overrun, and the world is just a post-apocalyptic wasteland. This movie is kind of like Fallout, only, or Fallout the game, but, you know, if it was a movie, of course, and if, instead of, you know, like, you had mutants and, you know, just nuclear holocaust, stuff like that, uh, you just had dragons that destroyed the world. This is pretty uh, comparable to that. I was going to compare it to Mad Max, but Mad Max is more of a desert landscape, and it's, it doesn't really have a Mad Max feel to it. It does have kind of a Fallout feel to it. But it, basically, Christian Bale is the main character, or also a uh, co-star in the movie is uh, Gerard Butler, and yeah, Matthew McConaughey is in the movie. Now, basically, Christian Bale and Gerard Butler, they're both the head of this base that has uh, you know, just a couple hundred survivors in it, uh, half of the survivors just being little children, so they can't actually do much. And they're just trying to survive. And then Matthew McConaughey one day shows up. And he's with the U.S. military. Because Christian Bale plays a British character in this film. And they're all British. And the U.S. military are just, uh, you know, what's what's left of them. They drive up to this base and they uh, camp out there. And basically, uh, stuff happens. And they have to fight back against the dragons. And they try to find out ways to... Just try to survive in this world overrun by dragons. And what you get is a very fun, very entertaining movie that I, I can't believe that not that many people know about. It, it was a big uh, box office failure. Uh, critics just gave it meh reviews. It, I don't, it didn't get very many strap negative reviews, but it mostly just got meh reviews. Um, and yeah, just it, or it had a pretty high budget, uh, but yeah, you, you know, it was definitely a box office failure. But that makes me sad, because th that makes me sad. I'm just sad. But, yeah, it's just, this is a very good movie. This is a very entertaining, action-packed, exciting film with great performances from Christian Bale and Matthew McConaughey. Now, let me tell you something about Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey, contrary to what people say, Matthew McConaughey has always been a very good actor, great actor. Uh, incredible actor, even, really. Because, I mean, people say, like, okay, ever since Killer Joe from 2011, which I myself have not seen, he's been pumping out great performances, because, you know, apparently he looked at every bad review that's ever been written about him, and he uh, more just changed, turned his career on its head and just has been doing completely different movies and completely different projects lately, and he's just been turning out performance after performance and just getting lots of Oscar nominations and an Oscar win. And he's just been getting so much critical acclaim. But even before that, he's always been a great actor. I mean, yeah, he was in a bunch of crappy rom-coms and bad movies. But this movie is a great example of a great performance he had before he ever made Killer Joe. This is a very serious, uh, dark performance from him. Um, and, yeah, I think he gave a great performance as this general uh, in this film. And, yeah, Christian Bale, you know, he's kind of a guy... Or he's... He's kind of lost all hope in humanity and really in himself and in uh, the concept that they can survive. I mean, he tries to hide it from himself. He tries to, you know, show on the outside, like, okay, we can do this, we can survive. But on the inside, he really is doubtful that they're going to last for any more than just maybe a couple more years before they get killed by dragons. But yeah, it, it's a very good film. The dialogue scenes are good. All the characters are well-written, likable. And now the plot slows down a little bit about halfway through. It kind of slows down a little bit, but it picks right up, and it goes into the climax, and you get some pretty cool stuff. Now, and this movie is littered with some great action sequences. Now, the act, this movie isn't a non-stop action thriller, right? but when there is action, it's very good. And again, as with War of the Worlds, the CGI... This movie came out in 2002, but the CGI is mind-blowing. It's so good. It's Jurassic Park good. 
if not better than Jurassic Park. Seriously, these dragons, like, there's very little practical effects in this movie, but it doesn't even matter because the CGI just looks so realistic, so good. Like, if, like, if dragons were to take over the world, I'm pretty sure this is uh, pretty, uh, pretty accurate as to what would go down. And there are some very, uh, suspenseful and intense and well done action sequences that are filmed well and you know there's great stunts and it's just really exciting and you don't get movies like this too often to where dragons have taken over the world i mean you don't get that many movies like this this is a pretty cool concept i hadn't heard of a concept like this before or since just like dragons take over the world and it's a post-apocalyptic movie with dragons it's pretty awesome and they really pulled off like it, it could be pretty bad but they pull it off. They absolutely pull it off. And you, it's just such a good movie. And and yeah, the action suits are great. The CGI is so good. The performances are great. And the movie slows down a little bit in the middle. But yeah, I just, I really like the movie. Uh, and Gerard Butler was also, he's just a side character. He's not one of the main characters. But he's, he, did, he gave a pretty decent performance. Um, but yeah, it just makes me sad that this movie is not known by hardly any people. I don't think I've ever met a person who's uh, who knows about this movie. And that, guys, we need to spread the word about this movie, okay? Like, in the off chance that a fair amount of people watch this movie, please share this video. Please get some people to watch this movie, because this is definitely a very fun movie. It's not a perfect movie, but I do think it's great. Now, my final grade for this movie is an A-. minus. It's a very fun movie. Definitely worth checking out. Um, but, yeah. It, uh, and if you like this video, please rate and comment and subscribe. And if you want to, you can also share... Get out of my face.